Hello and welcome back to Football Manager about 2020 and not 2019 as I accidentally did some mistakes that led to, well, that say that we had going on being removed. So we will check this out instead do the same play style and everything taking Bath City from the bottom of uh, Veteran National League South to the top of Premier, Premier League and out in Europe. Hopefully we will move on a little bit faster than last time around. I got a new computer which is a part of the problem uh, why I can't access the save. Uh, at least a better processor and uh, motherboard and things like that which well, are key things here in Football Manager to get the game to run a little bit faster. Also we will do things a little bit different or a little more like you see on other channels so to say i will uh, show you the, the matches and uh, cut in where it's anything interesting so to say but the the moving in between the matches and everything like that if i actually don't make any proper decisions so to say or anything interesting isn't happening you will uh, probably not see that so we will try to compress it a little bit so we can move along a little bit faster but First, let's check out how Bass City is looking here at the start of the 2020 season that we all know have gotten a fair bit strange here in June or rather at yeah, the end of the season probably got uh, quite weird uh, everywhere so to say or this season 2020-2021 that is it, it is for uh, Sweden or rather it's just 2020s. Yes. Here in Sweden we'll play the season during the summer pretty much. So let's check out some news. We have already selected Bass City and we got a large database and things like that. So should maybe have a little bit of a bigger uh, use among players and everything like that as we come to that. Uh, I should change uh, the uh, setting there on uh, the wage I see. Currently it's set per annum or per year. So we will change that to monthly as uh, we find things. But this is a pretty nice little uh, start screen that you get when you start the game. So to say, I think that's an improvement and I, I know that there are more improvements and uh, let's check them out together and also how the team is of course and everything like that so we actually got a decent media prediction uh, of a ninth which means that we should probably be able to reach at least a playoff spot if we do some good uh, good uh, transfers here in the preseason and also we see that uh, the stadium is fixed to the correct capacity here uh, so to say with the uh, 3528 i think in fifa manager or not the fifa manager football manager it's like 8000 football manager 2019 i think it's like 8000 or something like that uh, with a lot of standing uh, capacity i think that's wrong so that's good and um, training facilities is pretty poor uh, or really bad uh, Poor youth facilities and basic youth recruitment, and that is of course the things that we will uh, aim on getting better on uh, first, so to say. And we have some loan obligation here: Hartridge, Shilvers, Edwards, uh, Lewis Britton, and Sam Pearson. And uh, this is from Bristol City. Could be uh, pretty good. Ryan Brandt is the top earner. Key player Silvers here and uh, valued 105k. Yeah, right. And he uh, certainly had a baby face there. So let's get into the game here, or rather, all of these long term goals and things that is new for the 20, FIFA uh, Football Menu 2020. And yeah, I know we we're starting to play the game late, but I couldn't bother waiting until uh, the release of. The football manager 2021 so yeah this is obviously i said totally new for us so what do we see here and that we have for things club culture try to make progress on and off pitch yeah sounds good ongoing a five-year plan okay that's a 
culture and vision five-year plan ongoing work within payroll budget uh, yeah we do like that and the current season top half in uh, Verma south that's all right reach fourth qualifying qualifying round for fa cup that's uh fine as well i guess and reach first month here for uh, fa trophy and uh, our contract expires here at the end of the season and uh, we don't have any goals here uh, for the next five years other than keep a south uh, <laughs> national league south top half finish and uh, we definitely aim for more or i'll do that at least all right prior to your appointment as head coach the staff have been handing the majority of the day-to-day -day business and activity all right scouting induction all right tactics induction all right that's uh, fine we'll take that as things go by no we don't want to meet the media Intra-squad friendly tomorrow to assess the squad. Now we'll have uh, uh, our assistants do that. Advice report from coaching staff. Definitely. Uh, right, we will just save here. There we go. Oh, and you will get to see that as well. And of course, we also fixed our manager name here uh, from last time around. So we have a couple of players here that are uh, lost, lost season uh, with their contract. Brunt being uh, one of them, uh, of course, and uh, recently signed current contract. And uh, yeah, he's valued at 35k, so he's earning just about uh, where, what he should, I think. And I lost his son around uh, that we have played with him and everything. He apparently only played 20 matches and scored nine goals. Uh, so decent, I guess. All right. So take the tactics induction now. All right. Sure. Let's do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not sure I, I, I want to do that. All right. Uh, what do you want to do here? Do you want to do something? Shows a uh, tactical st style. Well suited. All right. Route one. Direct counter attack. Wing play. I don't really. Quick transition. Direct passing. I think route one is a pretty good one. Works best with 442. Yeah, and I, I kind of feel like we want a 442. 411. No. 414 wide. No, uh, uh, we're going to go towards a 442. Uh, just because I think that's the easiest way to find good players. Uh, so we'll confirm that. Right, uh, yeah. So this looks like the same that it's always been, or that it was 2019. And yeah, uh, we do now that flexibility. Right, yeah, all right. Club vision and expected. All right, can we do. We can negotiate this. So, what do we want to do? Can we change anything? And occur to be negotiated later. All right. Oh, there we go. Can uh, end of 2021, end of current season. Well, I don't want to up, uh, up anything here, really. And uh, just because we want to keep our job. If we lose the job, the series is over, just as usual. And uh, 
introdu introductory advice summary and uh, focus on transfer to, to poor youth facilities. Sure, uh, we will make Harper here uh, vice captain. And uh, no, as usual, we can't uh, do this easy. Uh, we'll quick pick here for everything, actually. And I think that will be um, good. I think uh, it's a shame that we can't redo this uh, as needed. Because that would help me at l a lot at least. Uh, so let's see here then. We should set up, uh, we should have a look here uh, for uh, a senior affiliate. And, uh, right, so they will come back with that. So that's the first thing you really gotta do, or I feel like it's the smart thing to do at least, to get in good players on loans and not paying anything for them. It is key really. And uh, here we see that this has been set up friendly for us. And Birmingham could be a team that we could have a relationship with, so to say. And uh, what do we have more? Club vision, that's the new thing. With the performance, all right. So that's obviously a lot more easy to see here. Club vision, match performance. Yeah, and I definitely like that so far. And uh, I do know, yeah, exactly. Dev Center is something new. And uh, all right, we'll take the th to the <laughs> task here or the tutorial for it. A glance, look at everything with the play development broken down. All right, out on loan. Under 23 squad, poor squad, aren't any players close to being ready for first team opportunities. Don't many players with decent potential and uh, poor squad overall. And sorry for the noise there if that picked up on uh, the mic outside noise there. Have my window open when I shouldn't. And the under 18 squad is below average. Uh, don't many play with decent potential and uh, rather mediocre development squad. All right, so that's obviously not too good. And uh, outgoing development loans. Uh, yeah, we can be in charge of that. And the rest are coaching staff. Uh, feels good to me. We do have a first team candidate here in Pearson. Uh, but exactly, he's uh, on loan, so uh, a little bit strange that he's in uh, in uh, the, the under, well, not in the first team, due to candidates list. All right, so loans over you, loans is in, in and out, doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's uh, definitely interesting. Uh, we'll, we'll move forward here a little bit and I can get a little bit of a feel uh, how much faster <laughs> the game is going to run or not. Social feed, sure, whatever, we can follow that. Code of conduct. All right, so let's, um, I think we can uh, agree on uh, this uh, default. Uh, so we'll confirm this here. So that's very good to have that uh, that uh, done. Team report, we will skip that. That is something we know about. Injury update, development advice. Well, we will not move Pearson to under 18s. His current ability is uh, right up there uh, together with Stern on uh, on a left winger. So we will not do that. And we'll continue here. Squad dynamics, we will skip that as well. We have a 
sort of a good feeling for that. And uh, we will uh, set the tactics here. We will uh, not have uh, cautious uh, mentality. We will have a balanced mentality as uh, default. Uh, this is uh, a little bit new. We'll skip that as well. I think how this works. Yeah, all right. So you, not, it's not new. It's just that this wasn't out as such. All right. Uh, we have something we must respond to, not rip on the, and uh, we will skip that. But we will have a look at. Uh, the training uh, because that is something we need to set up here coach assignments here so remove all ask assistant to assign and uh, fitness and uh, goalkeeping is pretty strong other than that not so much so obviously we are going to need better training for everyone and we get some a lot of the uh, training advice here so we'll start training and individual training here uh, for a lot of players and we will move on here no package yeah we don't have uh, money to do it unfortunately and uh, yeah because I, I think yeah I think we can't afford any of this Exactly, that says it's, it's blanked out. But actually, it says that we do. Uh, so I think we will try here with uh, the senior package. Or will we? Uh, yeah, I, I think we will do that for now. Rather, we will do this for the youth and no package for the seniors. Conscious staff advice. Yeah, I don't know. We have not have enough coaches uh, or anything like that. We should have a look on the coaches there, though. And we'll skip that. Finish. Yeah, coaching staff. Uh, we can have one more general coach, so that's good. Alright, so under 18 stuff. We can definitely have uh, coaches there as well, and for under 18s, or for under 23. So we should have hire one more coach for pretty much everyone. Uh, so let's have a look here. So you want uh, oh, staff search here, just uh, we want uh, coaching. Right, realistic, yeah, that's good. Payroll budget, and uh, we want contract. What do we want here? Coaching at attributes. Yeah, sure. So we want someone good in tactics. Uh, we want you preferred job. We want you to be a co coach. Uh, so Ribiera here, you are actually really good for us to try and sign as a youth coach. Ratings coach, yeah, part time, sure. And 12 months, we actually want it to be longer. And we'll lock that and lock that. And we will suggest terms at something like that. And we'll see here if we can't get this one in. So. Yeah, all right. Final deal at 9k per year. That's nice. Uh, so someone who are coach. 
attacking. So attacking like nine, this uh, this uh, Lambert here is pretty decent overall in all, but we can have a look here. Uh, on the rest here to see if we can find anyone. Yeah, Tom Webb here definitely looks like uh, a good one to sign for the first team. Uh, so you will be coach. Job. And we want two years. Uh, we can start at something similar. Uh, that we did last time. And we'll see here if we can yeah, finalize the deal at 9k there as well. Uh, so that's good. And we have something we must respond to. Scouting induction. I won't skip that. And uh, how is the scouting? Yeah, currently. So we'll have the inbox here and continue. And the uh, transfer will skip the induction there as well. And uh, we already fixed that or said that, so to say. And we're moving on here. And uh, we'll see here. Considering offers Tom Webb working with youngsters. All right, so, so offers are in there everywhere. Uh, we will not take a look at the training uh, this early. Uh, actually, we'll skip that induction. All right, I said skip it. Or rather, I didn't. Uh, Ribeiro signed for us as an under 18 coach, so that's nice. Uh, we'll ask him to recommend it recommend us signing if he has one and uh, we'll all right take induction is the, the button that is there right uh, I think we did take the development one all right damn it Tom Webb uh, had under 18s coach uh, all right, we will start all of this. So staff, we got here under 18 staff, got one head coach, yeah. And the staff, let's see here if we can't uh, find another uh, couch, coach. Not a couch, a coach. Right, so attacking and defending, it's pretty much those uh, stats that we really would like to look at. So, really here, it's really, it's really a type of player that we would like to have, or uh, staff. And sorry for the noise there again, it's ridiculously high, actually. And heard here, like uh, definitely would uh, would have liked to have him as uh, yeah. That salary is crazy, but understandable. Uh, which one were we looking? Yeah, Don Don Aki here. Yeah, those wages are crazy, and uh, Craig Sauer here. Right, so I guess we can be all right here with uh, Achimong. Uh, we'll actually do only one year here. Uh, we'll do coaching coach. Uh, we, we do everything we can to keep our players or to develop our players rather as much as we possibly can. All right, how didn't you agree on that? We'll finalize the deal there and uh, we'll call a decent episode. So thank you very much for watching this time. I hope to see you here again. And uh, that time it will be to the matches or important decisions and things like that. With that said, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right or latest upload to the channel and with that 
said thank you again for watching